Hello and welcome to another session of Wildix user training. In this lesson we're going to talk to you about the Android app, uh, how you can install and log into it on your Android phone. So let's get going. Let's find the Android phone. Here we go. Now the first thing you need to do for the Wildix um, app is to go to the Play Store. And in the Play Store we're going to search for this Wildix collaboration. You can actually just search for Wildix and you should see it on the list. Um, once you've searched for it, um, you're going to click the install button. Okay, click install. Now it's going to download. It's about 57 megs to download. Um, it downloads quite quickly, but it might take um, a few seconds, maybe even a minute or two to install. So I'm just going to pause while it installs so you don't have to waste time. Okay, we've been waiting about 45 seconds now. Um, collaboration should be installed pretty soon when it installs and it's completed you'll see that this cancel button here to the right um, changes into the word open and that will allow you to open the app so we'll just wait for that to happen should be coming up any second now really here we go nearly done there we go. So you click to open the app. And it opens the Wildix app. And here you see the login screen. So this is what your login screen looks like. Uh, you have domain, username and password. And this is all the information you need to log into your app. So your domain, username and password are all specific to you. You should have been sent, sent either a welcome email from the installer or perhaps you've been given a list with your domain username and password details on. So for me, my domain is Telexpress Test. Yours will probably be something related to the company you work for. Your username is the new extension number. It may be um, the same as your old extension number if you had an old phone system or it may be a completely new number. But you should have been given your number. Mine is 5551. And then your password is specific to you yourself. But just be aware if you do put your password or any of these details incorrectly, then you won't be able to log in. So I'll show you what happens if you put the details incorrectly. I've not pulled the, fu the full password in there. So once you're done, you click the check mark. It will try to connect to the PBX, that's your phone system. And if you fail, it will come up with authentication failed at the bottom. So let's now put the correct password in. So my correct password. And once you put the password and everything incorrectly, click the check mark again at the top here. <coughs> It'll connect. And you are logged in. You can see, there you go, there's a picture of me at the top. That's me. And the first thing you do, the first time you log into the app, you'll get a few pop-ups. Um, and these pop-ups are asking you to um, set up your cell phone in order for the Wildix app to work correctly. So you have to answer these questions. Um, do you want Wildix to record video, to record audio? Yes, you do. So click on while using the app. Uh, then it will calibrate. Um, here's a few beeps. And then do you want Wildix to send you notifications? Well, if you have a missed call or voicemail, you want to know about it. So you click allow. Do you want Wildix to access your contacts? Now this is talking about the contacts that are stored in your cell phone itself. So if you have business contacts in your cell phone that you want to access or even contacts at home that you want to call, then you would say allow. If you don't want to be able to access the contacts in your cell phone, then say don't allow. No one else can see the contacts, it's just for your cell phone, but it's entirely up to you, allow or don't allow. I'm gonna click allow. Allow Wildix to access the device's location. Um, again, it's up to you. I will say while using the app. You don't have to allow this, but I will say yes while using the app. Allow Wildex to make and manage phone calls. It is, after all, a phone system, so we are going to allow phone calls. Allow Wildex to find, connect to, and determine the relative position of nearby devices. So any devices that you want to connect, uh, Bluetooth devices, for example, if you click want to be able to find them, you click allow. Okay, and the last one, DND access. So DND means do not disturb. Um, if you read the screen, you can say basically what it's saying is if you're in a phone call on your Wildex app, should I turn your cell phone into Do Not Disturb? Um, 
If you don't want to do that, click not now. If you do want to do that, click settings. I'm going to click settings just to show you what happens. It opens up the do not disturb permission screen. And you go all the way down to the bottom, find Wildex, and you turn on the button here, just to the right here, and you click allow. Okay, and then you can click either of the back buttons to go back to the main screen. And that's you logged in and ready to go to make phone calls. When you have finished for the day and you want to log out, or if you want to log out the app at any time, you click on the bottom right, this cog icon, just down here, and that takes you to settings. Uh, and then at the top, there's a little arrow pointing out. You click on that arrow and that logs you out and you click yes to confirm. And you will be logged out of the Wildix app. So that's the Android app on Wildix. Logging in and out. Um, and installation. Thank you for listening and we'll see you again.